Many times I preach here, especially to the people that work here on a permanent basis, and even you, you get deeply convicted. I've seen with the people who work here because I know them so well. They get deeply convicted by the Holy Spirit. But you know how many times it lasts a week or two? They go straight back to their old ways. One thing that TV Joshua taught me, there's so few people that can maintain the salvation that God offered them. So few that can maintain the salvation that God offered them. What do I mean by salvation? We get saved on a daily basis. You get saved on a weekly basis. And you get deeply converted, convicted about something. And like T.B. Joshua said, you are convinced about the truth, but you're not converted over to the truth. That's the difference. A man that maintained that salvation, that truth, that special manner, hidden manner that God given to him for the purposes of salvation, he do not get converted over. He get convinced deeply about it, but he does not get converted over to it. That. that means he loses it in a week, two, three, or a month, it's gone again. He needs to hear it again and again and again. He's not converted over to that truth. That means he could not maintain that portion of salvation that the Lord offered to him. That's why anointing is very rare. And that's why people run from preacher to preacher to get anointing. Let me tell you, you want to come and get anointing from me? I say to you, go and get your own. You go and get my anointing. But I, my purpose, the anointing that Jesus has placed on me is for this, to equip you. To go and do whatever you need to do. But I will never give you mine. Forget it. I walked the walk to get it. And I paid a price also to get it. I got it by grace. But I had to give up many things to maintain it. Many fleshly privileges and many fleshly comforts I had to give up. And that's why Reynard Bonker said one day to him, when a man came to him, he said, Pastor, pray for me for this anointing that you got. He said to him, how many nights and days did you fast and pray? But I can go on. I don't like speaking about myself because when Paul spoke about himself, he said, I know a man that went to heaven. I didn't say I went to heaven. It's not nice to preach about yourself or speak about your own experiences. Although we got, we got testimonies. But I can I tell you, this, this building is as long. I stand here together with the things that's happening here. You know when the anointing really broke out here? It's when I lost my health and my physical strength. I paid a price for what you see here tonight and in meetings. And sometimes I wonder about people that want it from me, want similar things. I say, will you give up your health? Will you give up your physical strength for this? And many will turn around and say, no. Because T.B. Joshua also one day said, said to a man, he said, also, pastor, give me your anointing. Pray for me. What do they call it? For... Um, Putting hands on, they get the spirit, something like that. Huh? Impartation. Pastor, pray for me, impartation. TV Joshua, look, I was there. He's look at him and said, can you pay this price? Can you give up many things to get this? One day I was complaining about my health to my wife. She said to me, but look at the building you've got. I got a little bit irritated with, you, with her and the truth, to be honest. I had to give up my health, my physical strength, many things for this building and this ministry. It's a price sometimes you pay. But many want anointing, but will you give up? Many of those who are anointing hungry that cannot pay the price, will you give up your health? Will you give up your physical strength? You know, I was... I don't boast. I was an extremely strong physical man. You ask my kids and you ask my wife. And I tell you, in one day it was gone, man. Because of poison, but that was part of the price. And I struggled to accept it. It was part of the price I had to pay. 
Jesus said, if anyone wants to follow me as an apostle, disciple type of ministry, he will deny himself. Pick up his cross and follow me on a daily basis. You die. You literally die to yourself and your fleshly comforts. And that what was precious to you before, that was dear to you. Many times you lose it. So if you go and speak to every man of God that's got anointing on him, you'll be surprised. And many of you will say, no, 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 uh-uh. I don't want to walk that road. Thank you. The truth that Jesus revealed to you in these meetings, there's a lot of conviction and a lot of revelations. Can you maintain it? That's the question. Many people lose it. And I was surprised to see after a week, two or three, they back to the old self. And I think, my, my, they've been convinced about the truth, but they've not been converted over to the truth yet. They go back to the old ways. They know it's the truth. They're convinced about it. They don't doubt it, but they're not converted over to the truth yet. They still remain boasters, prideful, Lovers of self. If God gives you something, can you maintain it? You see, that's why Jesus said, do not go throw pearls before swine. Many people come to church, they get prayed for, but they do not maintain it. They do not maintain the truth that carry the anointing. If you can maintain the truth, the truth of God carry the anointing. If you can build that truth within your life and you can maintain it, you can maintain the anointing too. The anointing is of the Holy One. And the anointing is the anointing that breaks any yoke. Pray, Lord Jesus, I pray for grace tonight that I will maintain what you have given me. In Jesus' name, amen. Give you Lord hand. Hallelujah.